Hey guys, Troy here on Mainstream Linux. We're going to go over a distribution today called Ubuntu Mate. Some people call it Ubuntu Mate, but it's 20.10. Welcome to Mainstream Linux today. We're going over Ubuntu Mate, or Mate, however you want to pronounce it, 20.10. Um, just going to go over it here real quick, uh, quick look. I like the, the overall look right off the bat is good. I like the green. A lot of people don't like the green, but I do like the green, but I'm going to see what we got wallpaper wise. Let's see. Well, that's pretty nice. That's real nice. We'll just stick with that. But anyway, we're running on the mate desktop environment. Um, you might be familiar with it. Linux mint started with it a long, long time ago. Well, I guess a long, long time ago. When you're as old as I am, everything seems like a long time ago. But you got the two panels. You got show desktop down here. If you've got something open, you can just minimize it down and show your desktop. Or you can go to one of four different workspaces. That is nice. And then, of course, you've got your trash can down here. Recycle bin, whatever you want to call it. Up here, you've got about this computer. Let's see what we got here. We're running 20.10 Ubuntu Mate, Linux kernel 5.8.0-25, generic. You're running Mate version or Mate version 1.24.1. I've got a whopping 2 gigabytes assigned to this uh, virtual box and processors and Intel Core i5 that I have two cores assigned to. And this, let me tell you all something, it's been pretty snappy with just two cores running. Let's go over here and see what we've got over here. Accessories, you can make backups. Character map, let's see, Ingrappa Archive Manager, Mate Calculator, Mate Font Viewer, Mate Search Tool, Password and Keys, of course. You can also engage Plank if you want and bring a doc into it. But uh, yeah, I'll just quit that because I do like the fact that it's got both it's reminiscent of the old Genome 2 feel or Gnome 2 feel. Pluma Text Editor, Redshift, that's to change the color temperature. Uh, take shot, take screenshot, you can take screenshot right there. Ubuntu Mate Guide, that's nice to have around. If you've got questions, you can go over here and go to the guide, and it's built right into the operating system, which is definitely handy. You got your install where you can set up your printer software and updates. Let's open that up. That way you can assign your PPAs. You can go in and add authentication, additional drivers, developer options, or the live patch. Let's go back over. Software boutique must be the software manager. That's a different or software store. That's definitely a different way. It's stock in the boutique. Let's go slowly here. Set to retrieve the latest software. But that accessories, you can go in accessory. Okay. Education. I, guys, I kind of like the look of this. I really like the look of this. I, I think it's very professionally done. And then you can hide proprietary software. But, yeah, I'm... I'm liking the look of that. I think it's so much better than the cluttered version that you get on a lot of distributions. I, I like the work that they're putting in on this. This is definitely something I like. So if you're giving Ubuntu Mate a try, you definitely want to take a look at that. That's I like that. That was impressive. Uh, software updater, users and groups, and the welcome screen. It's the same as the welcome screen on a lot of other distributions. It, Start you right off with a hello, and then you can go in, and it's got an introduction, your features, installation help, community chat room, install now, get involved, donate, desktop layout. You can go in and pick, I guess, dark light themes, let's Redmond, Cupertino. So I'm just going to stick with the familiar. Use these settings and close out. Graphics, you get out of the box, document scanner, I have made image viewer or Mate, Mate Color Selector, Shotwell, Internet, you get Firefox, Web Browser, and Transmission. 
Office, uh, you get actual document viewer, you get evolution out of the box, not Thunderbird out of the box for email. So that's definitely, you know, Thunderbird, I hear people talk about Thunderbird all the time. It is such a, a, a useful tool to have when you're using Linux and your emails, contact, schedule, calendar, all of that. I think a, one of the reasons people are moving from it is because it does look dated. Um, but you can try Evolution. If you don't like it, zip on over to the boutique and get your Thunderbird. LibreOffice, um, let's see what version they got on here. I'm, I'm thinking it'll probably be the same thing that's coming on Ubuntu Groovy Gorilla, but let's double check. Okay, should be 7.0.2.2, .2, and it is 7.0.2.2, .2, so you get a nice updated version of LibreOffice. Let's go to Preferences. You get additional drivers, additional network configuration, appearance, assistive technologies, Bluetooth adapters, Bluetooth manager disks, displays, file management let's see what do we got file management wise uh, behavior display okay so you can go in and set up double click to open single click to open that's that's nice all right keyboard mate tweak main menu network proxy onboard settings pop-up notifications Preferred application, screensaver, sound, startup applications. Definitely, I tell everybody on your startup applications, keep an eye on this. Because as you start using your distribution more and you start using your operating system more, you'll see that gets other programs that sneak their way in there. You need to go in there and pull them out, especially if they don't need to be starting on startup. That way you can speed your system up and the boot time won't be as long. Celluloid is definitely to watch movies and videos, rhythm box webcam system tools it's got the Kaja file system let's pull that up and I honestly have not used Kaja that much uh, it's usually been Nautilus or Dolphin but uh, you know I may have to play around with this distribution a little bit and play around with that a little bit like I said this is a quick look it's not in depth I may do a review on it at a later date if I do I'll go through this with a fine tooth comb and give you all my opinion and if you have used the Kaja file system, you know, drop down below in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. Firmware, uh, Debian installer, GDB installer, that's awesome. Gparted, out of the box, log and file viewer, Mate Desk image mounter, that's awesome. You can create, uh, create your own if you want to download a different version of Linux and go ahead and mount that image and burn it to a USB, you can. Control Center, let's see what we got. Control Center install printer software software boutique we've seen so it's just a a nice unified area where you can go and get everything you need right there in one place well that is awesome well just by the basic look of mate or mate however you want to pronounce it um it gives you that it gives you that feeling of the old gnome 2 where you got the panels top and bottom uh you got your workspaces you got your your trash can over there. Um, definitely, I seem to like it a little bit better than XFCE in overall looks, but like, you, you know, XFCE is meant for lightweight. Let's see what this is. I mean, Mate Terminal. Let's see if it's got HTOP. Does not have HTOP installed. So let's go ahead and do system monitor. That would be one of the first thing I do is go and install HTOP on it. Okay, so at idle with task with system monitor open, you're sitting at 955 megabytes, which isn't bad. My KDE distro that I use on my daily machine at idle is running at about five to six hundred megabytes. And XFCE that I looked at yesterday, and matter of fact, posted a video of this morning was running at about the same. So, I mean, you can run Mate uh, at the same system resource memory-wise that you can run it, that you can run XFCE. So, that's that's pretty impressive. But uh, that's my quick look at uh, Ubuntu Mate 20.10 just released. Uh, if you're looking at something, you don't want to do regular Ubuntu or you don't want to do XFCE, definitely get you a USB, throw this on it, and, and run it through its paces because it is a decent-looking little distro. 
I'm going to work with it over the next couple of days and see what I think of it. So if you would, you got any questions, please put them down in the comments. Uh, if you've used Kasha File Manager before and you've got a feedback on it, please put that in the comments. But I uh, appreciate you all watching today. Please like and subscribe and watch out for our next video. Have a good day.